Uh, welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared and this example we're gonna graph these two inequality we're gonna solve this system of inequality how it's called uh, and we're gonna use this uh, grid here because the solution to a system of two linear inequality is the region that contain the solution to both inequalities so very important to see what's going on here so I'm gonna take the first inequality x minus y greater or equals negative 2 and you can solve for y here if you want but I think I'm going to use it this form and my first step will be to make it equals to 0 to graph the equality and how do I graph this make x equals 0 I get a negative y equals negative 2 or y equals positive 2 Two. So, my first point that I'm going to plot will be this one, x equals 0, y equals 2, which is uh, right here. Uh, then I'm going to make y equals 0, and I end up with x minus 0 equals negative 2, which gives me x equals negative 2. So the second point I have will be negative 2 and 0, which is this point. So now I can sketch the graph of x minus y equals negative 2, which is this guy, uh, something like this. I'm trying to make an accurate graph. It's a full line. Let me be sure about that. Okay, why it's a full line? Because we have the equal sign here, right? Greater or equal. Now the question is, is which side I should shade it, the above or below? Okay, for that reason, I'm going to use a test point. I'm going to use the test point 0 and 0. And that means you plug it in the original inequality. And we have 0 minus 0. Is that greater or equals negative 2? That's the reason I put a question mark here. And we end up with 0 greater or equals negative 2, which is true. So I'm going to put a check mark. It works fine. 0 and 0 is below this uh, boundary line, this line we graph. So I'm going to show you the bottom part of this graph. Okay, so this is the solution set for the first inequality. We're going to do the same thing for the second one. Let me change the color and we have what? x minus 5y less or equal negative 5. But, uh, I'm going to write the equality here. And again, I'm going to make the same thing. I'm going to make x equal 0. And I'm sorry, this was negative 5 here. And we end up with negative 5y equals negative 5, which means y equals uh, 1. So we have this first point, 0 and 1, which is right here. Very similar, we're going to do for the uh, x-intercept, because that's the technique I use to graph this line, uh, find the intercepts. So we're going to make uh, y equals 0. And then we end up with x, right? If we do here, x equals negative 5. So we end up with the point negative 5 and 0 which is this one so let me see again a full line because we have the equal sign in this inequality and let's hope i can draw a decent line here yeah that's the one and again i have the same situation above the line below the line and again what guess i'm going to use a test point can i use zero and zero of course And what do we get if we put in the original inequality? We have 
0 minus 5 times 0 is that less or equals negative 5. Uh, if you take a look, this will be 0, 0 less or equals negative 5. Uh, no, that's false. So now 0 and 0 is down here. So we're going to switch the side and we're going to shade the top in this case because that's the side that makes this inequality true. And now we're going to go back to what I said at the beginning. The solution set is the region that contains the solution set to both inequality, which is which one? This one right here. This is the solution set for our problem. Okay, you can see a better picture right here. Uh, and uh, you notice, let me erase a little bit here. Okay, uh, yeah. You notice, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's the solution set that I mark it to green. And again, in this case, I use the intercepts for graphing this each linear inequality and then find the solution set of this system. If you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-squared for more help. Thank you.